Hello everyone, welcome back to a very very quick video. I just wanted to uh, maybe point out a pretty good surefire way to uh, to do your gallery. Uh, it is going to be, you know, it's a very short video. <laughs> it's the OG way. Uh, if you're new, of course, you can check out and see, uh, you know, at the end of it. For those that know, they already probably know how the concept works. But what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that this bad boy is not locked. Let's make sure she's not in. Why would she be in there? Maybe she could be in the trials team. Who knows? Nope, she's not in a trials team. Hopefully she's not in IDA. Nope, we haven't even started IDA. Perfect noob way to start any video. <laughs> do IDA people it's free frame food but in terms of this what I wanted to say real real quick is this is a surefire way to fill out your gallery so if you can go into your gallery here and you go man I haven't I, I need to do my 10 stars I've got my fives I've got my sixes how the fuck do I get these 10 stars well you probably hadn't thought about this you're probably thinking, shit, now I need to go in there and build them from scratch. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you've got a 10 star lying around. You may even, you know, have a 10 star heart watcher, which I would recommend doing this on. But basically, we are going to go and do this. We're just going to convert them. We're going to replace them. Most, if not all, old players have a shit ton of soul stones. This is actually my lowest soul stone counting account. I looked... Um, basically you get them from heroic summons and you really don't use them. Uh, you, you very rarely use them unless you're a fanatical tester of certain, um, types of heroes. Basically, this is how I'm going to fill out the majority of my gallery. I'm just going to be converting them anyway, because at the end of the day, Valkyrie was always going to be food. Now Rose is going to get converted to a faceless when I can get her copy and then it's going to be molasses. And then after that, maybe we might finish it off with a Gru if we can pull some Gru's. If not, I'm absolutely okay either using it as food or building a Rogan. So I doubt I'll be building a Rogan though because at the end of the day, I think I've already started that project for that last bullshit event. Um, but as you can see, it's fairly, it's fairly decent in terms of... <laughs> If you've got, if you never use those things, right? If you never ever use them, now would probably be the uh, ultimate time to do it because realistically, you probably, you probably don't need 30. <laughs> you probably, you definitely don't need 30 or 40 of them. Um, you can probably, you know, keep maybe five or 10 stones back if you really want to be that person. But the reality is, if you got anything over that, like, what's the point? Um, it's, you know, you just use them. You do not need to hoard those things on this game. <laughs> uh, it's always nice to have a couple for the, um, I would say, for light and dark heroes. But outside of that, I feel like you're probably safe. Most people can get uh, soul stones from their summoning anyway, their rogue summons. Hey, lo and behold, we got a Valkyrie. Let's see what the last one is. And we can swap out Demon Hunter. Um, and then we might go fishing for some other heroes. I did do some profit orbs before. Didn't get anything, which was bullshit. But, you know, that's the game's RNG, right? But in saying that, this was supposed to be just be a little little quick sneaky video just to show you. And we got the Gru. We got Gru. That's fine. We got some tulips here. The main goal for me is to get to 110 tulips. So it's going to cost me $40 to... Um, essentially 40 AUD to uh, to acquire <laughs> some of these maybe a little bit more depending on if I can actually get some more of the uh, the light ups it may actually cost me a hundred dollars but we'll see it's potentially worth it for the uh, mysterious artifact chest um, but anyway I figured we we're, we're, we're invested in it we'll, we'll do it we'll see if we can get there we might have to uh, get creative on how we find some of these hero copies to uh, fill, fill the gallery with. But um, I'm feeling pretty optimistic. We might summon this one out. What do you reckon we'll get? What can you get from here? To be honest, I haven't looked at one of these in a very long time. Uh, basically food all the way up until the Rui Scepter. So food is fine. I predict we'll get a kiss of ghost. And we got bullshit. Every fucking time. 
<laughs> this game, I swear, this game is just rubbish when it comes to RNG. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much how we're going to fill out the deck, the Poke decks, as Barry Gaming likes to call it. Very, very cool, very, very quick way to do it for the OGs. Oh, that's right, that's right. I forgot to mention, when you summon them out of the flower bed, they do not appear in your uh, bag. They 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 do not uh, they appear in your bag. They do not appear in your fucking summoned area. So you need to summon these pricks out. That's fine. Anyway, last one for those that missed the first one. <laughs> uh, go to convert. Make sure you got some crystals. Load them up. Hit that replace. Get some tulips. Hopefully that helps some of the older players that probably forgot they even had them. And for the newer players that maybe, uh, you know, don't know what that actual thing does. Now you know what soul stones do. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.